However, these oldies travel slightly differently. They travel by tractor and their noble steed, the trusty Aussie made Chamberlain 9G. Say hello to the Chamberlain 9G Tractor Club of Western Australia. And for the next month, they'll be caravanning across the country in three of those days with me. Let's hope they like me. Starting here in Dongra, north of Perth, two tractors will travel inland over dust and dirt all the way to Tamora in New South Wales. And this is Hugh. He's the brainiac behind this adventure. Welcome inside one of the best mighty machines we will feature on this television show. I'm actually currently driving a 1950s Chamberlain 9G tractor. I'm having a ball. Day one complete. How did I go? You did well. Actually, you did really, really well, actually. Your first driving test with no trees bent or anything, crashed or anything like that. Was... I could have ruined the trip early. <laughs> <laughs> you were pretty good uh, uh, trusting me oh. so early, so I really appreciate it. <laughs> Nearly 20 years since you've started. Well, let's it talk... is, actually. Yeah. Let's, let's talk through the history. What, what sprung this crazy idea to you so many years ago now? Actually, where it stemmed from originally, when I was a young fellow, I got got electrocuted, then I spent three months in hospital. And the only thing that saved me then was a flying doctor service. And from that day, I've always wondered, wonder how I could ever repay something to do with the flying doctor. And it was probably 40 years ago, I was working with an old mate, the Prissy Gundle, and we talked about going around Australia in a 9G. And I didn't see him until 20 years later, until about 1996. And we got talking about it, and I thought, gee, that sounds like a good idea. I'll do it this time. Beautiful. And how much did you raise that um, first trip? $65,000, I think, in that first trip. And you got George to come along. How did you, how did um, you get George on this crazy idea? George is a fisherman, he tells me. Yeah, He's I a fisherman now. You've got him into tractors. Crazy idea. I think sometimes you've got to be crazy. He's to a George. fisher out of water. Yeah. That's legit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hugh, George and crew, day one with me. Thanks very much. No, and, thank uh, you, mate. It's been great. Cheers, eh? Anyway, cheers, cheers, everyone. Great. <laughs> We've got a couple more days, mate. Yeah, I'm not thinking of me yet, I hope not. Let's talk a little bit about these mighty machines. The 9G features a four-cylinder Perkins engine. There's not much in the way of luxuries. However, the nine-speed gearbox, the comfortable air suspension seats, and the canopy keep the oldies happy. Talk about cruising speed. It's a tad over 50 kilometers an hour. Talk about slow and steady. When you really break this trip down, this 50-something-year-old hunk of iron and steel will travel over 3,000 kilometres to reach its destination. And these retired farm chamberlains have been doing trips like this for nearly 20 years, and many much further. Let's not forget, this is a tractor. So forgive my sense of pride in this Aussie chamberlain, but also my disappointment to know that we as a country will never make anything near as durable or as impressive as these orange mighty machines. <laughs> <laughs>